we can see, we can compare the data. So at 180 BPM, uh, my mean trunk flexion was 15 degrees. At 210, it was 17. And then at 230, I went back to 12. So as I was saying before, I was probably trying to become a little bit lighter on my ankles because I was feeling a little bit of uh, uh, effort on the legs. Um, I usually never pushed my, my body uh, like over my limits. Um, I'd rather change technique than, than pushing. So in that case, I was probably that that's what was happening. Um, mean hip abduction, we can see the right and the left. Um, so that's also another a very interesting thing that we can see how the right side of the body is um, working compared to the left side. So we don't even we don't even have to kind of like um, uh, um, compare ourselves with other people. We can compare our right side and left side and maybe we can already see oh the right side is working better let's see if I position the left side more like the right side if I get my techniques get better like if my left side gains uh, or, or benefits from you know in this case let's say instead of having 19 degrees going 11 degrees and so on um, anyway we can see that my left side um, in all the three speeds, there's been more or less the same, 19, 18, 18 degrees. My right side has been moving more, so it's 11, 12, and 8. So not, probably not a big, uh, like big difference of motion, but it's interesting to see these things. Uh, uh, mean hip flexion, 63 degrees, both right and left, at 180, 64 and 63 at 210, and 66 at 230. Um, which is the, the like how my legs uh, so this is probably based on how much I was raising my heels and how, how much I wasn't so um, I was raising my heels more in 230 and less in a 180 and 210 BPMs because 66 degrees it means that it was a wider angle um, yeah in my mean hip flexion so uh, mean knee flexion instead <clears throat> is 76 degrees, 75, 73, 72, and 70. So um, this would mean that the more I was going faster, the more I was putting my feet towards the front. Yes, so basically at 180 BPMs, I had my uh, feet a little bit more towards the back. 210 I started to put a little bit like so instead of 76 75 at 210 I went to 73 and 72 degrees and then at 230 I went to 70 so this is interesting the faster I was going the more my legs were kind of like raising the heel and and going towards towards the back and the slower I was going the more my heels are going down and my feet are going towards the front so interesting data to see um, you know maybe again we can find correlations with other drummers that are doing the same and so we can start you know understanding that de there's a more beneficial position compared to another to to go fast and then the amplitude of uh, my ankle motion basically would be 12 degrees uh, for 180 bpms and 30 degrees for my right uh, foot then 210 it went a little bit less to 10 and 12 degrees and then 230 it went to 10 degrees both feet to 10 degrees so as i was explaining before of course the faster you go the less dynamic you have especially with vertical motions but also with the swivel with everything time and space are connected so less time less space and by less time i mean faster less time between uh, each stroke so less space so this makes perfect sense um, that we are doing less motion to go faster